You like that right in your brain? Yeah, that's what I thought. Dude, maybe we'll use this for a weapon for right now. Just... The world. What up, peeps? It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Checking out some 19.4... Seven days to die, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. <gasps> chicken! Yes! You guys, we killed a chicken! Dude, I don't have a kniffy. No, I have no knife. I think I can only... Uh, I need bones to get the knife. I don't think I can do anything with this chicken. Let's just, let's just carve it. Oh, we're getting boners. We can make a boner knife with the bones we get from this. I forgot we can harvest him with an axe. Sweet boner knife. Oh, just short. Not enough bones in a chicken. Rip Kevin. Never forget. All right, you guys. We were looking for some cool stuff and things to do. And we started playing Seven Days to Die on our Twitch stream uh, in, with a community server deal. So we have a bunch of people over there. Uh, we have a 30 slot multiplayer server and we've been doing some stuff and things and I've been having a really really good time hanging out with the community So I thought maybe over here since this is more of a 1v1 deal where it's like just you and me You guys might not think you think you might think to yourself Slipgator You have a lot of viewers or several, you know tens of people are watching. Yes, that's true But really at the end of the day, it's just you and I it's just you there watching me and I'm here talking to you uh, and yeah, so Alpha 19 came out. There's been a few different changes. Some new zombies are in this, or different zombies. There's a new, like, Hawaiian fat man. Dude, also, I feel like I'm a pro, man. My first time in here, I'm not even afraid. I can just annihilate all these guys. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so, uh, start up a single player. Right now, I do believe we have this unmodded, um, with a couple of different tweaks for XP and stuff like that, uh, for loot. Um, there's been a couple of changes. I don't think you can get the auger until game stage 90 now. We are on game stage one. Uh, so we have a long time. I think that's auger. I can't remember how it works. You can maybe get lucky and find the auger early. Um, but we're not probably going to get it for a little while longer than we used to. We'll still keep our eyes peeled though. But yeah, so uh, here we are. I used, uh, what was the name of the seed? I went online to look it for it. It's a really strange name. Hold on. Uh, but it's a good seed. I will, uh, try to link it in the down there or something like that eventually. So you guys... Dude, another chicken. Do you think we can kill a second chicken? Dude, there's no way. These chickens are normally really scared, right? Like, if I run up to it, it's just gonna run away. Suck it, the chicken! I can't even believe it! I thought they ran away! So, zombie AI has been drastically increased. And chicken AI has been drastically decreased. The bone kniffy. Let's give it uh, right there. So this is actually a fairly valuable tool for us early game. Uh, so we can harvest these guys over here. Uh, right over there. These little bad boys right there. Nice. So that gives us uh, some more boners. And we actually ended up getting some nitrate powder. We can use that a little bit later on for some other stuff and things. So, uh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure. I've never played this seed before. So I don't know exactly what we're looking at here, but I'm feeling like... Is it easier just to go through the wall? Maybe. Um, it's going to be amazing. Uh, it, it is supposed to be a cool seed. We're already kind of right over by a city. The trader is right over there. We haven't done the trader quest yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start doing a little bit of exploring around here. And I want to make sure that you guys remember, if you like this video and you want to see more of this stuff, hit that thumbs up button. Show your support, peeps. If you're new... And you uh, uh, have a good time today, hit that subscribe button. You can't hit me. I can't even believe I let you hit me. Come back and see us again. Uh, we would love to see you here on the channel. And thank you very much for all your support. So like I was saying, I'm just going to do a little bit of exploring. Oh, hello. Dude, what do we got over here? Over here? Strong arm, increased projectile speed and range by 15. Not bad. And we got two of those. Uh, and I think that the reason that that is is because we have some loot turned up a little bit for a single player adventure. You know, it's really funny because on the Twitch playthrough, this is the first time, not the first time I'm playing multiplayer, but the first time playing multiplayer with as many people. We had around, I think something like four, 15 people for the first day seven horde. So it was really, really weird to see kind of how the game handles um, lots and lots of people for a horde. Uh, it was really a lot, and it's really a lot different having a lot of people around. We have a lot of concerns about food, um, and a lot of concerns about, like, getting enough stuff, getting enough bullets, uh, and stuff like that. But in single player, you're kind of on your own. Uh, the benefits of, uh, having a lot of people is it's, like, super easy to build. Like, we, uh, search the bathtub. Ugh. Oh, bronze. Bronze guts. 
Uh, it's really easy to get building projects done. Uh, it's really easy to gather up some materials. So with this, we turned up some drops just so it'll be a little bit easier for me to play uh, solo. Anywho, all right. Like I was saying, I'm going to wander wander around here a little bit and see what I can see. Hopefully, we can get some stuff and things here. So far, no gear really to speak of. Jeez Louise, can I get some armor? We got one little piece, man. I can't even believe it. Let's drop that guy on there. We've already got like a whole pile of stuff. You know what? Uh, I don't know if we're doing... Oh, dude, more? I'll take it, man. And we can sell these extra books for some little bit of cash money. Trader Joel's White River trading deal. Let's pop inside of here. So there's probably going to be a bunch of stuff and things that we can get inside of this area here. There's the stuff that we can harvest. At least we used to be able to. Hey, what's up, homie? It's Trader Bob. Do you have any jobs? May I see your inventory? Hey, let's talk about this. Uh, I want to go ahead and sell some stuff and things. We can W that guy. Uh, scrap advance. Maybe that guy. Get rid of that. We can sell. Uh, is that all the stuff and things we got to sell right now? There we go, that guy right there. So that'll make it so we're not burdened anymore. Uh, can I sell this to you? I'm really, believe it or not, I don't really normally use the bow early game. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Secret stash. I mean, we, we have 369 coins already. Only 100,000 Duke bucks for the gyrocopter? Uh, Amaze. Man, sir. Pick that lock. What's the matter? I can't pick the lock because it's no lock picks. All right, so uh, we need some lock picks eventually. Pop out over here. What's going on, man? There's no need of it. I'm just trying to conduct business here. Can't you let a man and a man or a woman or a dolphin conduct some business in peace and harmony? Um, all right. So I think all the other stuff and things we're going to need here, we should probably do a little bit of searching around to see what we can find for a base. Oh, wait. Hold on a second here. We can't get any of those guys. All right. There we go. We'll grab that. I'll do a little bit of a searching around here and see what I can find. Oh, baby. We unlocked the gun safe. Holy crap, man. All right, so we got a level two Kniffy. Oh, I actually I have some stuff that I've dropped over here. I think I dropped a lamb claim block just to make a little bit of room. May I ask what you have for sale, my friend? Uh, level one knife, can't sell that. Yoink, we'll take the level two boner knife. We found a stone sledgehammer, which unfortunately I can't sell. 11 more arrows, which I can sell. We could sell 10. I'm actually not going to carry any of those guys. We got a bandolier deal. That helps with ammo, which we don't need right now. But look, we got a lot of stuff and things here, man. We can make some coffee now. We found some meat for some chickens. Uh, we can make two food probably out of the 12 meat that we have here. These guys right there, I'm going to sell those. Uh, I just want to make sure I have enough room in my inventory for stuff and things. You know what? I'm going to sell some of those too. We've got to go find an area to live in, man. Can I sell these? No. Mm, crap on the cracker. Four of those guys. Uh, maybe we sell three, make a little bit more extra Duke bucks. Uh, I also found, by the way, these guys already as well. I could sell that guy. We've already got cooking pots. Nailed it, Ace. That can't be stopped. Like, we are doing quite well. I really wish I could sell that. All right, so we're one over burden, but let's take a look here. We did get some skill points already, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, lucky looter. Let me see here. Uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus. Taking it like so. And sexual Tyrannosaurus, by the way, makes it so that uh, lowers tool uh, usage, stamina. Pack Mule. We'll take one of those guys right there. And we got two skill points left. Miner and Loader, we probably don't need. Or Miner and Mother Load, we probably don't need until, until for a little bit. How about uh, two points left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hiker, Rule 1, Cardio, and Healing Factor. That's going to allow us to slowly heal over time. And this is going to allow us to run better, basically a little bit better. All right. So, ooh, this guy's not easy. This is not easy guy. Hey, what's up, homie? You want some of this action? I will tell you, we played multiplayer seven days a real long time ago. I mean, we did this series with Zul'jin, like, I think it was, like, now, like, four years ago. Um, but I've never really played, like, modern seven days um, with with multiplayer and I never really realized how much different the game is as far as the zombies attacking you man in multi the zombies are able to like hit you from way further away there's a little bit of lag it's crazy and it makes it way more difficult especially when there's like a mini horde or something you have to be so friggin careful uh what do we got over here just a little park um if you're wondering what's new in the game since last time we played there are some crazy number of new POIs in this game now. Like hundreds and hundreds. Or I can't somebody I think somebody told me 7,000, but I don't know if I believe that. But anyway, there's hundreds of new POIs. 
huge amounts of stuff and things to do. Um, what we're going to be looking at first here is just kind of... We got this big town. We're going to explore it. I, I should probably take and find a two-story house to clear. Uh, let's pop inside of this guy. Let's take this door off here. That hombres are probably going to hear me coming. But what I think we're going to end up doing... Oh, I wonder. Hold on a second here. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see that guy. Dude, hot wolf. Ow, 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 die. Ow. Jeez, wolf. Seriously, dude. That was so much damage. And you can hurt my leg. And you gave me radiation. Holy crap, man. Maybe I should have kept the bow. I know some people in the comments are going to be super pissed about the bow situation. Uh, thankfully, we took healing factor. So we're good to go there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I did find some band-aids. Uh, we're going to use a bandage right here. That's going to help us by quite a bit. And uh, radiation? Mm, I need either honey or antibiotics, right? So we're going to have to figure that out. We're at 0.2%. But what I was trying to do before I was so rudely interrupted. Yeah, it was that. You like that right in your brain? Yeah, that's what I thought. Dude, maybe we'll use this for a weapon for right now. I mean, it's tier two. It's going to be better than this guy, right? Let me just make sure I can repair it. Yeah, pff, screw that. Get rid of that deal. Let's use the sledgehammer. That gives me one more spot. I can maybe put, like, the cooking pot in there just so I have a little bit more space. Uh, so we're going to try to clear this place out. I'm not even going to really loot it yet. I'm just going to clear it. And after it's clear, then we'll work on... Did I really throw the land claim block away already? We'll make a new land claim. I know I should have kept it because we're going to need it over here. Uh, and we'll set up a couple of chesticles as well. That way we'll have some storage space. I see you, bud. Two of them. I think you got what it takes. Dude, I got a sledgehammer now. You didn't even think of that. Because you don't even need brains. That's why you need brains. Oh, right in your head. Level three. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, let me clear this place out a little bit more. And then we'll check on what's going on over here. Dude, man cave. Dude, I found a little area down here. A little, uh, not necessarily man cave. Could be a she shed. Could be a dolphin den. Found a little area down here and uh, been. You want? I think you got what it takes. You want more? Uh, this house is huge, man. And also, it's so strange to kind of be back in seven days with it being a little bit like different. Like the POIs are different, the houses are different. I will say, I've never really used the sledge before and I kind of love this thing. It's amazing. Uh, it really does a good job, and it hits really fast, too. Like, I don't really see the downside to this. Normally, these sorts of heavy weapons are slower, but this is pretty quick, man. Dude, take it to the limit. I'm just hammering everybody. Uh, I think I have a low amount of stone, so I'm trying to be a little bit careful about that, and I definitely believe I took the POI backwards. Oh, yeah? You think you got what it takes? Stay down! Uh, yeah, or the entrance is... Maybe we're supposed to go the other way. So it's got this whole, like, downstairs bit. Is that me? I thought I heard something. So this whole downstairs area over here, there's the lamps that are supposed to take you... Oh, baby, what the crap? Dude, workbench, untouched, shotgun, but... Oh, crap! Oh, you stupid, dumb... Oh, my God. Uh, do I... Oh, uh, stay down. Okay, hold on. What are my pants looking like? Dude, thankfully, I can build more fiber pants because these ones have poop in them again. Working stiff tools. I think I heard another zom. Dude, but this is definitely where we're going to make our deal. This is where we're going to do our stuff and things. Right down inside of here. So, I got... Dude, it, also, this house is a maze. Like a crazy maze. Dude, more! I can't believe it. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so this way, this way, and this way for the out, right? No, over there, over here, and then we're out. Okay, so we got to get some stuff and things here. All right, guys, I need your help here, man. Give me all your good juju. Please, please, please. No, I need honey. Dude, stumps are so hard to find. They're so hard to find. Uh, we got radiation poisoning. It's going up. Uh, we need antibiotics or... Honey, right? Those are the only two things that we can do. And I've been looking around for stumps to get honey. We didn't get any honey, right? Like I, I watched. Yeah, no honey. So, 
Yeah, this is not good. This is not good at all. So I went out and grabbed some stuff here. What I think we're going to do is... Let me see here. Storage. Let's just start with some storage chests. I can make 29 of them. Maybe I'll make four. Let's start off crafting some storage chests. Um, I know this is a little bit... Yeah, I'm walking right by that. I know that this is a little bit of a thing. Like, we have radiation poisoning right now. This is bad news bears. But what I didn't do in this house... All I did in the house was clear it. I didn't actually search around for anything uh, in the house. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get go ahead and craft a door up as well. Um, we're going to go back over here. I know the radiation is rising, but I think our best bet is probably to search the house to start with. Uh, and then we've got to... I Maybe I'll go out and look for like one more stump or something like that. And then we're probably going to have to head into town. But it's going to be night at some point here. We're going to have to be a little bit careful. Let's go like so. We'll place that door down right there. So what I want to do now is go down to the basement. We got to clear the floor over around here too so we don't make it too much noise. Let's go down to the basement. Which way was it? Over to the super cool spot. Wait, where was the super cool spot? This guy right here. All right, this is where we're going to live. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. Let's place down that guy there, that guy there, that guy there. Pop this guy off of here. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start looting all the things. Now, I'm going to loot some of this with you right now because we have some pretty cool stuff that we might be able to find. I just got to place down one more chesticle right there. All right, let's go ahead and start off with, like, mm, I don't even know. Let's go inside of here with, like, seeds. Uh, let's go inside of here with that, that, that. Uh, we need a food chest type deal. Maybe that guy, that guy. Where'd I say seeds? Organization is key. Crafting up a campfire now. Got some stuff a little bit more better organized. Uh, where would our campfire want to live, do you think? Probably right here. Nailed it. All right, that guy. Sweet. So campfire's right there. And then honestly, already, I do believe I have a little bit. I have two skill points available. Uh, not treasure hunter. Where is Master Chef? Probably tier one. Start off with Master Chef tier one, and then that's gonna allow me to do grilled meat, I think. And we have seven of those we can do. Hold on, we'll squirt that guy inside of there. Seven grilled meat, baby. We'll split this guy in half, like so. Grilled meat. Why? Why can't I cook it? You don't have the required tools to craft this. Oh, I need this thing. I need uh, the the grilled deal. Uh, we could do boiled meat. We don't have a lot of water. You know what? Hold on. Like that. Let's grab these four guys. I have 22 of those. I'm going to keep those on me to fill up. Let's go ahead into water, boiled water. We'll start cooking up those guys right there. And then I think we're just going to go with charred meat for now. So some boiled water and charred meat coming because we're running a little bit low on fuel, food words. All right. So that guy goes in there. Let's check these bad hombres. Meh. All right. Organization is key, like I was saying. We want that, that inside of there. This wood splitter mod, we can already, I do believe, modify this and stick that in there. So for right now, we've got that guy. We need a spot for weapons too. Maybe we'll squirt these inside of here for right now. All right, come on, give me something amazing. Oh man, dude, no guns. You gotta be joking me, man. Well, we have the uh, large tool, um, motor tool, large tank mod. We got that guy. And this is the iron breaker. More damage against iron, some more bullets. Kind of bummed that we didn't get a weapon out of that weapons bag. Uh, I thought this would be a little bit better than it is. We're not really getting any good stuff here. Uh, we'll keep that. Wait, what is this? Better? Uh, this is better. So we'll grab that guy, and then this guy will actually just chuck on the ground. There's a hat mod if we're cold. Uh, and then inside of here... Meh! Uh, these guys are iron arrowheads if you want to get into that. Alright, so that guy's over there like so. Destroyed workbench. So, oh, we gotta open these guys up too. I forgot, we have a bunch of crates here. All right, Shamway Foods. Great. Perfect. More shovels. All right, so this guy right there, modify, squirt that off. We'll take a tier, can't do it now, there we go. We'll take this tier two and modify that like so. I think mm, maybe we'll just scrap that guy right there. We'll keep that extra shovel. All right, so that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, not bad, not bad. All right, we got that guy now. A little bit better Helmut. Uh, this guy we can go ahead and scrap. And then this guy, light armor rating. We'll squirt that guy on. Oh, yeah, we're starting to look post-apocalyptic. Oh, also, hold please. That guy, modify. Yoink, that's more carry slots for us. Looking pretty good. 
Then we'll drop these guys like that and like that. Okay, I think we checked all three of these boxes. One more box and more shovels. All right, so we have a lot of shovels. This is great. We have so many shovels. Ladies and gentlemen, mild infection. Cure infection, 10%. Is that like a thing? Herbal antibiotics. I don't think I've ever seen these. Oh, baby, did that actually work? Dude, I thought it was antibiotics. 10%. I didn't I didn't know this was even a thing. I mean, I think I've seen them before, but I've just never used them. 9.9, 5.5, treat mild infection. Is this going to be going down? If this guy goes down to 5.4, 5. <gasps> 5. it worked. Oh, my God. How did I never know about that? Oh, aloe cream is good. You guys, this house is crazy, man. It is very confusingly laid out, and there's a huge amount of loot in it. I do believe that we just cured our infection, which I don't even know if some of you who are new to this understand quite how clutch that is like i have a hard time finding antibiotics early game so getting hit at all in early game is bad news bears uh what do we got over inside of here dude tier three clubs all sorts of stuff and things uh tier three sledge get out of here we don't even need that wait what's this guy melee damage 19 melee damage 21 we'll take that bad ombre right there but yeah this place is like really really strangely laid out there's huge like there's this we can get up on the roof if we need to i don't think there's anything up here though um, but yeah, we can get up over here if we want to. Uh, that guy goes all the way around over to there. There's a little hole deal here. I've been trying to take out most of the garbage that's on the floor too. But this is like a really good house. And I'm also psyched that now that we're ready to go with the antibiotics, I'm not going to have to, um, head out and do any searching for anything. We can just kind of stay here for right now. Uh, cause there's a lot to do. There's a lot of stuff and things we can get. Dude, there's some painkillers right there. Wait, this looks like... That can't be right. Kind of reminds me of like an old school hardcore parkour deal. Maybe we're supposed to, are we supposed to go out here? Now I never follow, so there's a couple people in the stream. One of the guys name is Zomble. He's in our stream all the time. And I never go the way we're supposed to go in these POIs. I never follow like the little lanterns that are pointing you in the right direction. I just go wherever I want. And he always gets really mad at me. But uh, yeah, it makes it so I get a little bit lost. I think the only thing I don't have right now that I'm really interested in is, um, is a wrench like I could really use a wrench but other than that I think we're pretty good I do believe we've got this place pretty much cleared out uh, some leather from the couches that we could gather up as well it is a little bit dark inside of here uh, it's only 1400 so we have a lot of time to get some other stuff and things done before night comes but what I'm feeling like we should do is yeah I guess maybe we'll just unload this stuff dude our little house is a maze if I can remember how to get through here to the area dude where is it take that guy out see i'm lost already dude where is the little area are you guys lost too take that guy out over here it's not there there it is all right so oh yeah i got our food and all that too so over inside of here look at the amount of freaking stuff we've got man you can go in there you can go in there let's talk about yeah man sexy red trench coat boom we're amazing uh, what else? This guy probably could use a repair. Uh, he's kind of low. All right. So let me get organized here again. I never knew how amazing the sledge is, dude. So I put the modification on here, by the way. This guy right there, the Iron Breaker mod. But check this out. Six, uh, that was like 80. 80 damage a hit with this thing? Like normally these, uh, iron pieces take like, uh, I don't know, ages and ages to break. Um, this is way, way faster. And this guy just takes, it just takes stone. Like, that's all it takes. Just stone in order to repair it. Like, it's freaking pretty BA. I mean, it has a high stamina usage. I was trying to think about what the, like, the negative of it would be. Oh, you think you got what it takes? Dude, watch this, man. It's over for you. Stay down! Freaking stupid dummy. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then, uh, right there, grab that guy. Dude. Oh, I was uh, that, that hurt. Ow, man. So, um, yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff and things. I'm just across the street in another house. Uh, go ahead and recycle that bad ombre. Just looking for some more stuff and things. But for early game, you know, we're pretty... Jeez! Louise, this thing is amazing! Dude, I wonder if there's, like... I want to get an even better sledge. Normally, I'm, like, a javelin rifle kind of guy. That's what I always go with for my playthroughs. I just like javelin rifle. That's kind of where I'm at, but pff, this is kind of making me feel like I might have been missing the boat on the sledgehammer the entire time. This thing's amazing. Meth lab. <laughs> Meth lab princess, what? Dude, she's new, isn't she? 
I don't know if she's new or not. You guys, we definitely found a meth lab up here. Don't do drugs. Uh, holo. Uh, there we go. Oh, I'm completely full. Oh my god. All right, so you guys, moment of truth. Uh, we got blunderbusses here. You know what? I don't. I don't need a lot of these. Let's just go ahead and scrap those guys. Uh, javelin or sledge? I think I'm gonna go with the sledgehammer for this playthrough. I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. Uh, normally don't like to scrap all of the things, but we might have to. Uh, we can always run back. We're just really across the street. Dude, beaker. You're kidding me, man. We just got a beaker. Dude, I need nails. I need things. You know what? I don't need that right now. Let's grab those beakers right there. What else is in here? Dude, this place is a very little corner cool of stuff and things. Dude, we have to come back. Do you hear that? We have to come back. So, uh, yeah, I found a huge amount of stuff in the house that's right next door. We are doing very, very well. I think I can pop down here and not take damage. Thank God. Fingers crossed on that one. Uh, and it's turning out to be night pretty quick here. We have a couple of hours left uh, before we're ready to rock and roll uh, for the nighttime. Now, we have the zombies normally. I think the last time that we did a playthrough, we set them so that they don't sprint at night. They just run at night. Uh, this playthrough, I have it set for vanilla. So vanilla in that respect. So they should sprint at night. So especially early game, the nighttime is going to be a terrifying time for us. We really, really got to make sure... Uh, that we don't do anything crazy outside at night, but we have found a lot of stuff and things All right, first and foremost, let's go ahead and drop one of those guys in there We have a ton of these guys as well, too. We can always just store them inside of here Not a bad spot now. I did make a little oh did not yeah right over here a little chest for sellables So extra books can go inside of there uh, Let me see here. Let's go right over there that that you him I want to keep the wood, I do believe. You know what? I don't need to be carrying feathers around with me. Like so. Uh, I don't know where we're going to put dukes yet. That can go in there. Uh, you, nails, those. Dude, organization is key. That guy. All right. And so over this guy, this is our food and our meds. So you, 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 you. Dude, huge amounts of food stuff and things. Blood bags will go in there. We found some of these bad hombres. Vitamins, very, very good for fatigue. Uh, that guy can go inside of there. And then we also found these guys right there. Antibiotics, freaking huge. Uh, no, this is not what we want. This guy right here is all of our smeltables. Like so and like so. Uh, I don't know where dukes are going to go yet. I guess in smeltables, but I will never smelt my dukes. All right, and we have huge amounts of these. Let's go ahead and maybe take, take two with us. We've got a bunch of those guys right now. Where are we putting ammo? Inside of here. Uh, sellable books back over there like so in this mod. I did change up, and I dropped off one of the mods uh, for my sledge. So now I'm... Uh, well, yeah, so I took off, what mod was it that we took off? This guy, the Iron Breaker mod, and then we added on the this guy right here, Ergonomic Grip for less stamina. But I gotta say, guys, we are doing freaking great, man. First episode, kicking butt. Make sure if you want to see the series continue, don't forget, show your support and smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys in the next one. May the stuff and things be with you!